and the winner of the 2011 Queensland White Pages Community and Government Award is Dr. Dimity Dornan. Thank you very much, everybody. The Honourable Anna Bly, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank Telstra very much indeed for this wonderful award on behalf of our children and families of the Hear and Say Centre. Does anyone remember the Telstra TV advertisements of some years ago in which a young deaf child's cochlear implant was switched on and they heard sounds for the first time? Well, I'm the lucky one because I get to see it every day of my life. It's such a magic moment. I started here in, say, 1992, and I was inspired by the coming potential of the cochlear implant, one of Australia's biggest exports. And so here in Say has developed along with this amazing technology. We now work in three areas. We work with children and families statewide. We work with 18 various major projects of research. And Gabriella, our lead researcher, has joined me here today. And we also have a global program, which not many of you will know about. It's our global professional training program, because I would like to decimate the very significant impact of deafness right across the earth. When a baby is diagnosed with significant hearing loss, their family is often devastated and their future dreams for that child is in tatters. Hear and say can turn broken dreams into spoken dreams. These days, the new hearing technology is even better. Deaf children have the potential to speak just like children with normal hearing and to develop at the same a, at the same rate as children of the same age. With the benefits that winning this award brings, deaf children who are not yet born will be able to hear, speak, read, sing and dream their own dreams of a future in which the sky is their limit, not their hearing impairment. Thank you Telstra and White Pages Community and Government for this wonderful award and for giving our Hear and Say children the opportunity for their needs to be showcased. What they need is early detection, newborn hearing screening for every child in Australia, state-of-the-art hearing technology, cochlear implants if they need it, and two if they need it, not just one like most of them get now. Auditory verbal therapy that can develop their brains so they can learn to listen, understand and speak clearly, and equal opportunities to access all of these. And in the case of Hear and Say here in Queensland, where our head office is in Brisbane, just about $10 million to build us a new building within the next year. <laughs> I believe there's no better way to help the world than to help people to communicate with each other. Thank you, Telstra, and from the Hear and Say team of teams for being so excellent at communication, but also for continuing your earlier good work with this award. It will truly help deaf children get what they need for success in life. You have recognised that given the technological advances in communication for deaf children, today the job needs to be finished and we will together show everyone that the children are worth it. I've just come from another event, the launch of our foundation. Mao's last dancer, Mr Lee Shwing Singh was there speaking about his daughter Sophie, now 22 years old, who was one of the earlier cochlear implant children and the influence that Hear and Say has had on his life. A young girl, eight years old, Claudia Warland, was making her speaking debut, wearing two cochlear implants and being born profoundly deaf. We are going to show the world a whole new generation of deaf children, deaf children for whom communication is no issue and who can take their place on the world stage in every way. Thank you very much.